Hey y'all, Phyllis here. Well, we're outside working. This is my outfit for working in the yard. Uh, so what I'm doing is digging up this back little shrub bed to plant the uh, gardenias. I've already planted the colas in between each uh, of these ligustrums. And last year, well, it wasn't last year, it was about February, uh, I came out here with my little saw and cut back all this ligustrum because it was over past this little uh, mark for the uh, the shrub bed here. You couldn't even see any of this border grass or anything. And uh, so anyway, that happened. I think it was about February with my little saw. So I don't like using a chainsaw at all. And the reason I don't is because we were up at one of the real properties years ago and there were uh, red tips there and they needed to be cut back something terrible and so I had a small chainsaw the chainsaw part of it was about that long and I, everything was going along just great I don't like the fact that they're so loud but I was able to do it but then I went to cut a limb and, and it popped back and whiz past my ear. It scared me. I have never used a chainsaw since then. But I did get me a little reciprocal saw. And uh, Mr. Bucky won't let me use the other saws because I'm sawing roots in the ground. He says it'll just dull the blades. So I just ordered me a little reciprocal saw. The blade's about that long from uh, Amazon. And it works and I can saw in the ground if I want to because all I have to do is replace the blade when, if it gets dull. So far it's not dull. Uh, it's a lot easier to cut those, some of the roots are about that big around, but let me say now it's not going to hurt these ligustrums to cut the roots because they were humongous before, so now they only have like a canopy. And by the way, I did um, get the tip from uh, one of the viewers who said to get a uh, downy a dryer sheet and just rub it around your eyes and your ears and that way the gnats wouldn't bother you. So what I did was uh, just take some uh, snuggle, I think it is, and just barely touched right there. And it does help a little. Of course, I've done a lot of perspiring on my forehead now, so I probably washed most of it away. But it definitely works for me for about two hours and then it quits working. So it's probably been, I don't know, that long now, but uh, I just had one buzz in me. So anyway, uh, this is really hard. <laughs> it is really hard. So I've got the mattock, I think you call that thing that you swing down and all, and uh, so I'm able to get a lot of those roots out because what I'm gonna do is plant the uh, dahlias in this little bed here. I'll show y'all in a minute. I've already got the begonias planted. Can we pray for breezes. I almost said, can y'all feel that? It's great. So it's raining somewhere and we're getting the uh, cool breeze off of it. So uh, Mr. Buck is in the garage and uh, I was going to help him, but then I changed my mind because it's about 10 degrees hotter in there than it is out here. But I think he's um, cutting that wood. In fact, I can see that wood now. He must have gotten it all cut uh, to redo the little garbage can thing that holds both garbage cans out here. So yeah, we're moving right along and when I get through with this, I will be through planting all the flowers and I'll show y'all those later. I was just checking on Sonny. He, the garbage man came today and uh, he was uh, starting to bark at the fence so just before they got here I went ahead and we just get both dogs in when the garbage men come but uh, did he learn his lesson no he still barks like crazy at the fence so anyway I'll show you all the little saw and I'm gonna list that little saw on products I recommend because it's a saw that that uh, you ladies could use I mean you don't have to be afraid of it it's electric I do have to have a long extension cord with it, but uh, I love it, and I can go ahead and, you know, do what I can do, and he doesn't have to get out no chainsaw. I mean, I don't like them. They make so much noise, plus they're scary. But this little saw, I don't think, I can't see where it would be dangerous at all. It's actually 
a reciprocal saw. I'm going to go get it and show it to y'all. Hold on. All right, here's the saw. I'm going to cut it on, and all you have to do is pull this little button, or actually push it. You just push it down, and then this is the trigger, and I'm going to stand back and just show y'all how it works. And uh, so it, it doesn't... Uh, let me get this unplugged so I can talk about it. I don't want to be holding it and talking about it and it's plugged in. So there it is. See, you can see from my hand the blade is uh, little and I have never had it pop back because that's what that chainsaw did that time. When I was cutting that limb on the red tip, it went, it, I was cutting it and it went, it went right past my ear. I mean, I could feel the wind of it. So uh, anyway, uh, this one, you can see where I've been cutting the roots. And I just go ahead and, uh, I mean, some of those roots are like that big around. And so I just, uh, you know, dig the dirt out as much as I can and then just put this saw in there and saw it from both ends. And uh, that way it comes out real easy. And while I'm talking about it, I gotta tell y'all this too. So I was, uh, forget what I was doing, something. And uh, Mr. Bucky doesn't like me to use the uh, his drill for stuff. He always got to know what I'm doing with it. And uh, I had a little drill. Here comes Sonny with a stick. He's got, come here, Sonny, come here. Come here and say, what, what did you drop your little stick? Come here, come here. <laughs> He finds little sticks and he come here and say hello on camera. There he is. Yeah, he gets little stuff. Oh, he's afraid Steely's gonna get his stick. And he finds these little sticks. They, they actually come off that big tree over there, the biggest one in our yard. And of course, there are all kinds of squirrel nests up in that tree. And we're always having sticks fall down, and he always gets them and puts them up on the deck or the steps. I mean, sometimes you'll go up there and there'll be five or six sticks out there. Is that what you are? You're a little stick-gathering dog, aren't you? So you see the camera right there? No, the camera right there. There you are in the key sees himself. Look at that. You see yourself? All right, go play. Go play. Anyway, uh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, about the drill. So. I, I was the one fixing this gate, the, the gate to the fence here. And so, can y'all quit rolling? Come on, don't do that. They're trying to roll in my dirt. Don't do that. They're poodles, they're not supposed to roll in dirt. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, my, my little drill, which was, I've had it, I, I don't know how many years, and uh, it finally just quit. So. I went and I actually went to Lowe's and bought this little drill. I don't think I got it from Amazon, but I really can't remember. But I, I debated on which one to get. Uh, you know, I was just, I didn't know. Mr. Bucky didn't know because they, they have the lithium batteries. So, uh, can y'all quit rolling in the dirt? Stop right now. Go. Rolling in the dirt. <sighs> anyway, uh, back about the, the drill. So, uh, there was one that had two batteries, and I thought, well, wow, because it was um, uh, battery operated, just like the one that I had before, but always I had to stop and recharge the battery. So I thought, wait, this one comes with two batteries, and now I'm remembering I did get it from Amazon. And uh, Sunday, get out of the dirt right now. No more. So uh, they're filthy now, of course. Um, so I, I decided, well, wait a minute, this one's got two batteries, they're lithium batteries. And so when I'm working and the battery kind of gets low, then I can just use the other battery and plug that one in to recharge. So I love that little, little drill, it works fantastic. When I go in, I'm gonna show you all that drill. But anyway, back to the saw. So I've got it unplugged now. All right, this is one hand, it's not really heavy at all. And ladies, you could use this, and you don't have, I think you're supposed to hold it like that. Yeah, I, I think that's the way you're supposed to hold it, like that. And then you just push that button and you pull the trigger, and it's not real loud. Y'all heard that it wasn't real loud. And uh, 
to change the blade, you just push that little thing and you can, you know, take that blade out and put another one in. And I think it came with a couple of other blades. I see that I broke a couple of teeth on it. Y'all see that? Wait a minute, right there. But it's okay because, I mean, how much effort is it to get a humongous root out of the ground if you can just cut it? Yeah, it saved me a lot of time. So anyway, I have, uh, I've got to go put some of that stuff right. What I was doing was putting just a dot right there and a dot right there of the, uh, uh, of the fabric softener. And, uh, and it definitely works, but I can see that the downy sheets would work better because you could just rub it like that rub it over your ears like the viewers suggested but the problem is we haven't been to the store but when we do go um, of course why are we not going to the store because Walmart's doing my shopping for me and Mr. Bucky's doing all the pickup now so I don't even go to the store but I might have to go down to Dollar General there's a squirrel in the yard this is what happens when there's a squirrel in the yard anyway so I will show, I've shown you all this, and it is a black and decker, and, uh, and this is very light. I mean, you can definitely hold it. If you hold it with two hands, it's super light. And you don't, uh, or for me, it's never jumped back. And I cut all these uh, limbs off of these uh, ligustrums here. They're just very large shrubs, and I wanted them to look like a tree, and that's what they look like, a small tree now. So uh, anyway, all right, I've got to finish doing this. I have to do the mattock, I think that's what you call that, first to, to get even get in the soil. And then I have to turn it, I use the pointed end first and turn it around and use the other end. And I can break most of the roots, but those that I can't, this is what happens right here. And it saved me a lot, a lot of time and especially energy. So, uh, I don't hear Mr. Bucky doing anything in there now. You know, see in the garage it's so much hotter because you don't get this breeze that I'm getting right now. I don't know if y'all, can y'all see the leaves moving back there? Yeah, so Mr. Bucky said it's supposed to rain. So I'm hoping I can get through this digging part. Then I'm gonna plant the uh, dahlias and after I get everything all done, I'll show y'all what it looks like. All right, so we'll add to this in a couple of hours. We'll add to the video. See you in a little while. All right, I wanted to come in and show you all this little drill before I forgot it. Uh, this is the uh, lithium battery drill, and it's got two batteries. I think the other battery I left out in the garage. But here's the charger. And uh, the great part is when you're, I can't do this with one hand, but when you're putting in one of the drill bits, you just hold this part and turn that and you can put the drill bit in right there and it comes with these drill bits and uh, anyway it's also a um, drill and a driver and what that means is it in in I don't know how many minute of a second it also pounds the screw like that and uh, you can adjust that too with this little dial right here so you don't hear it it's actually banging up against the screw and drilling it at the same time but anyway this is works really really well it's not heavy at all and it's not loud and you can do it slow or you know you can do it really fast like that so anyway i really super like it this is the battery and uh it comes off I've actually forgotten how, oh, there it is. You just push that little thing right there and it pops out. And you can just put this right on your little uh, thing that charges it. I've forgotten how to do that too. Wait a minute, there's the other battery right there. That That's there being charged. I really do know this little drill, y'all, I've just forgotten. So the, the little battery, is right under here. Hold on, let me take this apart. Hold on. All right, so this is the charger. That's all there is to it right there. And you just slip it on the battery. So there are the two batteries. I thought I'd left it in the garage. I didn't realize it was still attached to the charger. But anyway, there's the drill, and I just absolutely love it. 
it is really super easy to use and it's not even that heavy. It's almost like a little toy, but it works. And it came in a shrink wrap with this paper or cardboard and in shrink wrap all around it. And of course you have the instructions too. All right, so no, Black & Decker does not pay me to talk about their tools, but I know some people don't like Black & Decker at all. But I mean, this is just to use in your home. You know, it's not something that you'd build a home with, that's for sure. But uh, anyway, it definitely works for me. All right, we'll see y'all in a little while. Hey, y'all, I wanted to show you how the cedar looks around the house. And these are some kind of shrubs, and then those in front are azaleas. And so this is the uh, Eastern Red Cedar Mulch, which we love. It keeps the bugs away, but it does not keep spiders away. And here's the side all around. All right, let's go to the front. All right, here's the front, and we've got the lantana on the corner. And there's what it looks like all the way down. Lantana on the other corner. And I decided to put some uh, of that border grass there. All right, let's go to the other side. All right, here's the other side. There's that lantana. We ended up putting it on both corners and getting it out of the backyard because someone wrote in, in the comments it was poison to animals, and I looked it up, and it was, so we moved it. All right, and here's the side yard right here. Oh, stepped in a hole. All right, so there's the Venka or Periwinkle, as some people call it. And of course, it's only been planted about three days, so, but it's perked right up. Here's the Venka in the middle. And of course, it's gonna spread out, have to get a lot more bushy. We've not cleaned out in there. There's some trees there, some of those little trees coming up. We're gonna have to get rid of those. There's the other corner. I don't know if you can see them or not right in there. Anyway, there it is. All right, let's go to the backyard. All right, here's the view from the back uh, gate on the side uh, fence. I think the uh, aromatic cedar looks really, really good. All right, now we still got to clean out in here. Back over in there, we've got all kinds of little trees coming up in there and some other stuff. So we've still got to do that. But Mr. Bucky's got that other side pretty well cleaned out. All right, let's look at the flowers. All right, there's the begonias. That noise in the background is the air conditioner running. And there's one dog. Uh-oh, and there comes the other dog. Yeah. Anyway, there are the begonias and then the border grass around. And that vine growing up there is uh, Carolina Jasmine. It has yellow blooms uh, in really late spring. And of course we don't have a garden this year and there's that big, big tree back there. All right, let's go look in the back. Here's a side view of that uh, little garden fence we have. We've actually got some crepe myrtle up behind that big tree bloom and there's my neighbor's big tall fence back there. But I think the side view of the begonia there looks really pretty. Anyway, that's it. It's pretty dark back in there where that big, big tree is. It's just a giant, giant tree. But it does give a lot, lot of shade. All right, y'all. That's it. All right, here's the view from the garage door. And those uh, darker green right there are the... Uh, but, uh, excuse me, the dahlias. Of course, they look taller when they were in their little container. Back there is the coleus. I think that's the way you say that. Sonny, come here. He's just got to bark. Anyway, and of course, we've got the uh, cedar mulch all in here. We ended up buying, I think, 75 bags. You can probably see leaned up against the fence. I think we've got about eight left. What are you doing, huh? Yeah, all right. So there it is. And of course, up in, uh, around the fence right there, we've got uh, Nandina. And those were some of the original Nandina uh, that were with the house, I think, originally. It just is very hard to uh, kill a Nandina, as my neighbor once said. 
anyway I had to plant some grass over here transplanted some uh, whoops what's that steely sticks See, he likes to get the ones with the knots on them those are his favorite anyway so I had to uh, fill in a hole here where uh, a tree used to be what you got to be the center of attention just all the time huh huh say mom I don't know what you're doing anyway so we uh, got some uh, centipede in there and it's doing quite well it'll fill in that whole area there probably in another two or three weeks anyway that's it give you another look at the back and that's those little uh, these little plants are miniature mandina yeah they grow in almost any condition but I like the colus back coleus back there it should spread out a little bit of course it's an annual plant but you get those for the foliage of course anyway I like the way it looks from the back door out here I like it a lot of course the grass needs to be mowed again already because we've had so much rain there it is it was a lot of hard work there but we got it done all right we will see y'all next time bye for now